the October. Welcome to Cold Antler Farm vlog number six. It's October 1st and we're here to talk about books. That's a lot of stuff to celebrate. Why are you yawning? So I write farm memoirs for a living, but I also read a lot of them. And I have some of my favorites to share today, some of which you may have read, some of which you may have never heard of, but they're all really great. So uh, let me know what you think. The first one I'm going to talk about is The Dogs of Bedlam Farm by John Katz. That is a book about this exact place in the world. It's about Washington County, New York. A couple of years ago when a man post midlife crisis or during his midlife crisis drives uh, from New York City and New Jersey up here to Washington County, New York, falls in love with a farm, starts getting some sheep, training his border collies, and learning about life in Cambridge and Jackson. and this exact area. I mean, you read about the Burger Den and Stewart's and uh, this little piece of the world. And I read this book when I lived in Idaho and never even thought I'd have a border collie in a farm. The Dirty Life by Kristen Kimball is fantastic. It's about a woman from New York City who was a travel and freelance writer who met a guy on some writing assignment who was farming in Pennsylvania. They fall in love and decide to start a farm together in upstate New York, north of here. Uh, their farm is called Essex Farm, and the story of their first year creating that farm is romantic and troublesome and beautiful and poetic, as well as just the right amount of draft horses and pigs and steer gougings and, you know, escape runaways. It's just, it's exciting, it's romantic, it's pretty. It, you read it fast because you're so invested in these two people and it's a true story. Uh, all of these are true stories. So, The Dirty Life, it's up there. It's a good one. Good job, Kristen. The Bucolic Plague by Josh Kilmer Purcell is the funniest of all these books. It is a wonderful story of two guys from New York City who end up on a apple picking adventure weekend in the fall, finding this mansion, uh, buying it, and starting a soap business with some goats that kind of just show up. It is as ridiculous and magical as it sounds, and easily the funniest of any book or memoir I've read in the past couple of years. Josh is hilarious, the story is heartwarming, the characters are great, and they're all based on real people in Sharon Springs, which is about an hour south of here. So, have you noticed these books are all local? I wonder if that's a thing with me. This is Bo Yudair. I think we wrapped up the New York State books. Well, the next one, Coop by Michael Perry, he might be my favorite modern writer. And I don't say that lightly. He writes beautifully and transports you to these places and these people. And Coop, which is the story of raising his uh, new daughter from, uh, he married a, a single mother, so he ended up with a family. And it's the story of them raising their first pigs, uh, building a chicken coop, dealing with just local love, life, and loss. And it's got some great, Great lines, and it's one of those audiobooks I've listened to probably 10 times already. And for you guys living in more urban environments, I haven't left you out. Farm City by Novella Carpenter is wonderful. It's about a woman in Oakland who turns an abandoned lot into a straight up homestead. There are pigs, there are chickens, there are ducks, there are honeybees. She raises rabbits, she uh, raises chickens, she has, I think, some geese. She fights opossums, she deals with local urban revitalization. She, I think she at one point she grounds corn flour in a month where she lives entirely off of her backyard in the middle of the city. It's, it's a fascinating book. She writes so passionately and strongly and like anyone who writes about farming, 
and it's starting to rain, as you can see. But as anyone who writes about farming, she's got it in her heart, and it's a beautiful book. And, you know, get it. Great audiobook, too. I'm sure I've left some great books out. Please, tell me what to read. Put your comments down below this video in the YouTube uh, channel, and we'll uh, share ideas and suggestions. It'd be great. Would you like to win this lunchbox? It's awesome. So to win this, just uh, tell some friends about this vlog. Like and comment on this video if you get a chance. It's always appreciated. It's what makes the channel work and go. Besides that, guys, just enjoy October because it is here. And he is so welcome.